This is Mike. And I'm Perry. <laughs> Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And for obvious reason, Mike decides he wants to be talking and whispering in the house. But baby has to get used to our voices. Yes. But yeah, he's in the room, he's, he's present. Right here, chilling um, like a villain. We thought we'd do a quick video, give an update. Yes, he's here, the new arrival is here. And we'll kind of give you the insight of how our how a birthing plan doesn't necessarily go to plan. <laughs> Facts. Make sure you check that the baby's kicking before you tell me that it's contraction. You know? Yeah. And if you feel panicking anyways, the most that you can do is go to the hospital and they hook you up to the monitor and they can check the baby's heart rate. That's more or less the, the only thing that you'll be... Uh, you know, it's kind of comforting that you're in the hospital and the monitor's on. Yeah. You know, that's the comforting sign. It might be boring and you'll be there for 12 hours or whatever, but at least the monitor is monitoring the baby's heartbeat. So because you're at home and you are, you can't monitor the baby's heartbeat, you need to monitor the kicks. How many kicks you're getting in an hour? Yeah. Or how many kicks you're getting in 30 minutes? You've got to monitor that. You got that? Yeah. And, and if at all those kicks are lessening, so maybe an hour goes by and there's no kicks or half an hour goes by and there's only one kick, you get yourself to the hospital. Yeah. 999. And then they'll have the monitor in the ambulance to put you on. All right, but monitor the kicks. All right, man. All right. Call me at any time. All right. All right. Love you. Love you both. Two, right. three, four, eight, two, uh, three. So originally, obviously, I was meant to have my birth in a birthing centre, but I was three centimetres dilated for six hours. That was too long. So they was like, yeah, you need to be transferred to a hospital. And I kind of rolled with the punches. I looked at Mike and said, okay, it's what it is. I have to do it. And he said, don't get upset about it. Because when mm. we hear hospital, I just think Mike can't, that means Mike can't be in attendance. Yeah. But he was like, we ain't the same. We don't need to rush the stress. No, can't. We just go with it. Yeah. They said they're calling an the ambulance. Mike was going to follow with the car, actually. Because yeah. Mike wanted to come in the ambulance, but it didn't make sense. Because yeah. When it's time for us to go home, we need a vehicle. Yeah. So then I got into the ambulance. They said they came to arrive with a bed. I said, I don't need the bed. I can walk. All right. So I walked, got, got onto the ambulance. There was a, they said you still need to just lie in the bed. They strapped me up. Legs were strapped up on the seatbelt. Um, mm. There was space, it was very uncomfortable ride. Yeah, it was not nice at all. Midwife chaperoned me. Um, it, I was shivering. Um, I said, can I have some blankets? They gave me blankets. So I didn't know all this. I, I thought that's like gonna be like, you know, a comfortable ride. Yeah. Business class. You know, you're gonna be, <laughs> I was, in, I, was, I was in economy minus, if anyone's <laughs> ever been in economy minus. Thank you. 
They might can't enter at this point, but he got through. He came with all the bags. We was on a ward, which supposedly was for high risk, even though I was low risk. When you find yourself in the room with the, the midwives, like, to take us through that when you was getting contractions. So they said, right, because I've got three centimeters dilated, you, your wall is broken, but only at the front. We need to get the back. We're gonna have to um, do some checks, do a sweep help assist let the water burst so they done that it was like choo, a gush yeah. i was like oh i'm leaking i was like yeah that's what you want okay then they put a gown on me i was just pacing up and down yeah. walking up and down that's what i kept doing passing urine leaking and then my contractions were coming on more frequent, more frequent. Yeah. and i was like yeah we like painful this. I, at that stage, I thought you was going to have birth there. So did I. Okay. control. It's a magical tool. Okay. You can use it any time to connect with the present. As many times as is needed is perfect. More, 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 more. more. Like night and day, we went from just a regular yeah, box, like, box standard room to a pool, bed, queen size bed, you shower, know, shower. I had to walk to the other room, what Mike's describing. There, there was a rope yeah. that I was holding on to because. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. They realized that she does not like lying down. You didn't want. I want to be active. Yeah. So they, there was a lot of equipment for me yeah. to just play about with to assist me. Happy oh, yeah, just okay. so we can sit there. So well supported by those who are there for me. Which must have been a good one. to push is more than you know, isn't it? And the road rose and fell, then you get to the end. curved and ran straight through parks if you want, and you city streets as I continued onwards. If you can't swing anymore. I knew that the road would lead me to the finish line. Take us through when you got into the pool. So Mike, I heard Mike say, can she get in the pool? And then they said to Mike, no, there needs to be two midwives. But Mike, again, persistent as he is, was like... Let's get the get, next get, midwife yeah, there. Get her in the pool. So I got into the pool. Listen, you lose all sides, lose all sides of dignity. I took off my clothes. I jumped in. It was nice. It was nice temperature. And I was like, ah. Yeah. But I know the hypnotherapy was saying, relax. Yeah. Your body knows will know what it what needs to do, to do for pain yeah. for birth. You're made to do this. Okay then. That's it, babe. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Keep going. That's it, babe. Come on now. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, babe. You got this. You got this. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go on, babe. Come on, babe. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there, babe. Almost there. Keep going. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then. 
at that stage, it was like... I was in the bath, in this pool, and I kept saying, I need to go and poo. I need to go to the toilet. They was like, yeah, yeah that's what you want to feel. That's, that's what we want to hear. So then I'm there, and Mike and the midwives are like, you're doing so well. But to me, I wasn't because... One is taking too long. Two, I'm like, but one sometimes I'm, you know, having outbursts. You know, it made I'm thinking, is this what you have to go through with a, a mother to yeah. give birth? And I'm like, I'm like with Mike, come on, stay with me. You know, times yeah. after I like, so I'm like it was aggressive. a marathon, yeah. and I think that's uh, that's one thing. Like I, I would, I would commend any woman, um, especially my wife and dad, because I've witnessed it firsthand. This was one who can endure. You were the, you know, epiphany of that, you know, from uh, the energy drinks that I was, I was, I was, yeah. I was passing her, the, the snacks, and then to, to now when I think back to it, that was just the, the, the prelims, early yeah. rounds, yeah. nowhere near to where, you know, the, the final stretch, because it where you until... was really like, all <laughs> your might was going into yeah, it. Yeah, when I was in the pool, Ooh. that's when I was using might, but then I was like, I'm like, I don't want to tear, I don't want to get piles. I'm thinking of things that I know yeah. that could happen, so I'm like, I'm not forcing it. Yeah. And then there was points I'm like, no, this is getting long. Yeah. And I was, I was like, when you feel a contraction, you push on the contraction. Push that yeah. you need to go to the toilet. And I was like, okay, then. So then I was just like, yeah. giving it my all. I couldn't see what was going on down there, even though there was a mirror there that the midwife was using. I wasn't looking at no, I wasn't looking at no reflection. I wasn't about that. My focus was just get him out. Yeah. But the best feeling definitely was when I was pushing and pushing, and it was the shoulders had been out, and it was like one more push, and it was like <laughs> he yeah, came out, it was, and wow. then I was like, oh my god, he's here! That moved forward yeah. to my chest. After I don't know how many hours I was in labour for, say 12, 12? Yeah, 12, I, 13. I'm, I'm exhausted. Um, he's latched onto me, which is good. So he's getting his nutrients in, and we're doing a bit of bonding. Um, Mike has to leave us. We've got to stay, so they monitor him. Um, because obviously I had an infection, so I'm wondering to make sure he's okay. Um, but we're good. It was exhausting. It's nothing like a training session. This is a different kind of pain and strength that I had to go through. Yeah, you did amazing though. Thank you. You did amazing. That's, that's huge. That's a blessing. Thanks. You know, you did, you did more than good. You know, so big up, big up the ladies who give birth naturally. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's tough. It was tough. Yeah, it was tough. It was painful. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be real with you. It was painful. Yeah, but I got, I got now here we are. Got through. Then there met, was he three. Met, he met his grandma. Yeah, grandma Norma yeah. last night was here. We got yeah. home late, but she was here. She yeah, was, all the checks she, at the hospital because, as you do. You need yeah, to you have to sure. do checks beforehand. And then we already had a visit from the midwife this morning yeah. as well, which has been nice. Um, we're so, good. All in all, we're proud and we just want to share this this um, bundle of, of joy and happiness um, with you guys. Obviously, you know, before we really like expose him to the world and stuff, we're going to be getting his shots and making sure he's healthy and safe because all these you know, COVID regulations and all that stuff happening right now, it's just, you never know. So, um, you know, we're, 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 we're happy, you know, we're, we're back mm -hmm. with another YouTube and um, we got so much more to, to share with you guys in the next upcoming weeks. So this Remember is, this is a start. like, share and subscribe. Peace.